Hi, this is Kate here from The Full Freezer and for my cooking in an instant video today, we are going to be cooking an entire Christmas dinner from Frozen in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp with Ultimate Lid. Now, I am gonna be cooking things in phases. Um, so I'm gonna do the turkey, we've got some pigs in blankets, we've got some stuffing, we've got our potatoes, all our veggies. Um, but if you wanted to just use the Duo Crisp as your best friend on Christmas Day to free up that space in the oven, then that is absolutely an option. So you can jump to whichever bit of this video is most useful to you. So let's get started. Okay, so because it's going to need to rest anyway, we're gonna get started with our turkey first of all. Now I have got a cook from frozen turkey joint here. You could cook a turkey crown, just make sure that the pot is actually big enough and that you can close the lid with the turkey crown in it. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop some stock into our pot with a trivet, and then we're gonna add our garlic and our rosemary, our joint, which we're just gonna cover in a bit of oil and salt and pepper, and then we'll get stuck in. So we just need to make sure that our pressure cooking lid is in place and then we just want to shut it, lock it and then set the timer. Okay, so now whilst this is cooking, I'm just going to make a quick glaze which we're going to put on before we air fry it. So our turkey's just finished cooking. We've let the pressure naturally release. So we're gonna open it up and make sure that the temperature is up to 75 degrees C. So I'm gonna use my thermopen here to check that that is at 75. If for any reason your turkey isn't up to 75 degrees C, just shut the lid and pressure cook for an extra minute or so. So we're now going to add our glaze to our turkey. So I'm just going to remove the pressure cooking lid first. So this has got our air fryer underneath and then we can grab our brush and then just pop this on here. So now we just want to air fry this on 170 for six to seven minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. That's it, the air frying is done. So that's nice and crispy now. We're gonna move it into some foil and just let that rest for a bit. Okay, so now our turkey's resting, we are going to do our roast potatoes. So these were already prepped in advance, these are still frozen. So these can be cooked straight from frozen. We're just gonna toss them in a bit of oil. We've got some frozen garlic, frozen rosemary, and then we're just gonna season them with some salt and pepper, pop them straight into the air fryer, which has been cleaned. Um, so once your turkey's out, you do wanna wash this, dry it, and then you want to pop the air fryer basket in as well. So let's get started. Okay, now because we're going to be cooking a couple of different things, we are going to be playing around with the timings. If you're just cooking individual items, like just your potatoes or just your parsnips in your Duo Crisp, then we have included the timings in the caption below, so go and check that out. Now, these want to go on initially just for 10 minutes at 190, so let's set that. Okay, so now our potatoes have had 10 minutes just to get them started. We are going to add in our stuffing and our pigs in blankets. Now the pigs in blankets are cooked from frozen ones. The stuffing I've made up fresh. Now you could make this in advance, freeze it and then defrost it. I don't really recommend cooking it from frozen because it tends to burn on the outside and go a bit crumbly. So do make sure you defrost that in the fridge before you pop it in to cook. So all we're gonna do, we've got an extra trivet in here to lift it off the potatoes and then I've got these in a steamer basket and these are going to go on top. I'm gonna to shut the lid back down and just change the setting to 170 degrees C for 10 minutes. Right, so that is our stuffing and our pigs in blankets done. Now it is a good idea just to check that they are absolutely piping hot before you take them out. That goes for anything that you are cooking from frozen. So we're just gonna move these now across to our dish. And then we're going to give our potatoes a couple more minutes. 
So now we want to give our potatoes a little bit of a turn and we're going to spray them with a little bit more oil and then pop them back onto 200 degrees C for another 10 minutes or so or until they're golden brown. So our potatoes are all done and smelling amazing. So we're just going to transfer them across into our heated tray to keep them warm until we've finished our carrots and parsnips. So now our potatoes are done, let's move on to our carrots and parsnips. Now these, the same as everything else, are being cooked straight from frozen. So I'm going to pop these into a bowl, we're going to coat them. We're going to coat them with some honey, some oil, I've got some more frozen garlic, frozen rosemary and a bit of seasoning, some salt and pepper and then these are going to go with the carrots in the bottom and we're going to put the parsnips on top. Okay, so we're just going to pop our parsnips in the top layer. The reason why these want to go into the top layer is because they will cook faster than your carrots and we're going to cook our sprouts whilst our carrots are still cooking. So then we can just pop these on top and we want to cook these for about 10 to 15 minutes on 190 degrees C. So now our parsnips are all done, we are going to grab these out and move them into our heated dish and we're going to finish off with our final thing which is our frozen Brussels sprouts. Okay so we want to pop our basket back in here and then we're just going to toss our sprouts which are still frozen in a little bit of olive oil um, and a bit of salt and pepper. And then we're just going to pop them into this top tray. And then you want to air fry these on 170 degrees C for about eight minutes until they're piping hot and starting to brown. And that's the sprouts. So we are just going to keep these warm for a couple of minutes. We'll give our carrots another five. So let's carve up our turkey, get plating up. So there you go, Christmas dinner in an instant from Frozen using the Duo Crisp with the Ultimate Lid. So we've pressure cooked, we've air fried and we've done all of this having prepped everything in advance so there's not even really very much washing up. If you'd like to prep your Christmas dinner in advance and cook from Frozen, check the caption for all of the timings and instructions on how you can prep ahead. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas from all of us. Enjoy. Enjoy.